Can you run Linux shell commands on a Windows computer? Yes, you can. There are several options for that. Uh, but it turns out I had this one already installed. It is git bash and it comes with git scm for Windows. And uh, it's uh, really rather nice. It has, for example, all these options like I can choose different themes. Uh, I can have these uh, semi-transparent uh, terminal uh, looks like you have in Win uh, Linux sometimes. And uh, it's uh, really, oh, and also you can zoom in by uh, control scroll wheel. You can make the fonts larger, which is really handy for demos like this one. Um, you can also have a look. Uh, and, and of course, the shell commands work like you expect, like... Uh, uh, this uh, pwd uh, command to see where in which directory I am. Uh, but of course, Windows comes with these drive letters. So how do these work? Well, it works, actually works like this. So the D drive is now slash D slash, and then the data directory on D drive is D slash, uh, slash D slash data. And we can have, of course, can have a look here like ls. I can have a, a a look in uh, the files like this and uh, I can do even VI like this one if you so require and I also can get out of VI which is an acquired skill and it's especially handy when I'm using docker uh, on the command line I'm a kind of a command line guy I guess so this is really nice much nicer than the, the regular Windows uh, command shell um, and I never really got the hang of the PowerShell yet, so this is uh, really nice because I, really, I already know this. Uh, one thing that doesn't work quite well is when you want to do a docker exec uh, min it name. This is uh, the name node of my Hadoop uh, cluster in docker. When I want to run bash like this, it says uh, your input device is not TTY. And uh, you can solve that by running win p t i in, in front of this, and then this does work. Now I can do ls commands on my Docker container. Um, of course, I forgot that 70% uh, of the times, so I made an alias for it, which I hope I don't forget, and that's the Docker exec, like, like this one. Um, you also need WinPTI for Python, otherwise it hangs. So that is not that nice, uh, but now it works like you expect to uh, Python to work. There. Um, other things to talk about. Um, yeah, I think I covered all my points here. Um, yeah, so it's free, it's open source, I guess. Uh, it's uh, win Git SCM for Windows or uh, Git for Windows and uh, uh, or Git for Windows .org is the address where you can get it. And I must say, I have a lot of fun with this. Uh, I can use all the acquired Linux knowledge, I, uh, the shell knowledge I have on a Windows PC. And it really feels like it's kind of a, uh, free way to go now of course we can discuss why don't you install Linux on your desktop on your laptop uh, well uh, actually I think I don't have to explain myself I like it this way I like all my Windows tools and I like shell too so this I can have my cake and eat it too and you can too so have fun have give it a try see you next time